Welcome to this HIO Show bonus episode. Uh, Lane Hudson, one of the Canadiens' top defense prospects, had another good season with Boston University. 12 goals, 27 assists, 39 points in 30 games. We know how good he is offensively. I guess defense might be his question. Uh, Rick, uh, do you see him playing with the Canadiens at the end of this season? Kent Hughes has said he wants to sign him after the NCAA season is over. Again, you know, let's, uh, there's all this hype about him. Um, let's see how he handles himself at, you know, the NHL level. Give him an opportunity. Uh, I hope he's really quick. I uh, hope he's smart because, uh, you know, five foot nine and supposedly 145 pounds, I'd hate like hell to see him with his nose rearranged like Peter Savota used to get his nose rearranged. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a case of let's, let's give him the opportunity, get a read on him, and, uh, you know, don't pass judgment too quickly. He's got all the tools. Uh, he might be the, the kind of guy can, can make things happen. But uh, with that size, that's, that's just the, uh, the big question mark I have. But it yeah, happen. listen, we'll see what happens. It, it, he's an extremely talented kid. He, he has a flair for the dramatics. You know, um, he, he, he's really had a good career in college. Will he play here this year? Depends what happens with BU in the playoffs and stuff. But listen, he is small. You know, you look at this NHL now, um, you know, guys like Kale McCaw. McCaw is a monster compared to him, but he's still not a huge D-man. Uh, extremely talented off- offensively. Um, you know, it would be awesome. I'll play guy, right? But can you get him through the game? Will he be standing at the end? Will you get him through the 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 playoffs to have him stand at the end? You look at you look at that Vegas team. They're a big, strong, tough team, right? That can play, and and those are the teams that win that are standing at the end. The big, strong, tough, talented team. Look at Vegas. They just got, and I know I'm off track here. Love. They just got Anthony Mantha, mm-hmm. another big forward. Like, hello, like those guys are standing at the end of the playoffs. The ultimate goal here is the Stanley Cup. I get it. You have to score goals, but boy, this kid's going to be tested. He's small. You got to insulate him. And right now, who do you put him with? You know, he's a lefty. Uh, Logan Mayu's a righty. A tough kid. Um, he, he, we'll see. I, I, I think, you know, I think he'll do all right, this kid. I think he's going to surprise some people, but he's got to keep himself from getting hit. That's for sure. I, I'm really excited about Lane Hudson. I think he's such a cerebral player. I think he's going to carve out a niche for himself pretty efficiently in the Amer- in the NHL. Sorry, not in the American Hockey League. Although he might play some time in the American Hockey League too. And every defenseman should, really. Uh, I think the plan is probably to put him with Gooley at the end of the season here for a couple of games. So he's got a big guy there to kind of watch out for him. But I wouldn't be surprised to see him stand out Uh, physically more than we expect he's a small guy but he's got a strong lower body he throws the odd reverse hit when he's under pressure and catches guys bigger than him if I were the coaching staff I'd be telling him watch game tape of Jared Spurgeon 5'9 defenseman for the wild I know he's been out a lot this year but spectacular defenseman has been one of the best defensemen in the league for a long time now and doesn't usually get caught for his size. Like he's not a guy that gets bullied. In fact, oftentimes he's the guy who throws the big hits uh, for on unsuspecting players. So I don't know if Lane Hudson has that necessarily in his game, but he's such a smart player with and without the puck that I think that it'll be rare for him to get caught. And even in times where he has been caught physically, he's usually the guy who gets up quicker. Uh, he hasn't had many injuries throughout his career, so... I think he's got enough tools in the toolkit to be successful, whether it'll be right away or take a little while. That's the question mark. Well, another smallish defenseman who's doing well in the NHL is Quinn Hughes in Vancouver. He's 5'10", 180. Uh, Boston University has um, Hudson listed now at 5'10", 162. So you figure by the time he fills out, he'll probably be about 180. I remember at development camp, uh, before the start of the season, two things that really stood out the most to me about Hudson was his incredible skills on the ice. Like he stood out, his head and shoulders 
skill wise ahead of above everybody else. And the other thing was when he met us afterwards for interviews, wearing shorts, just how skinny his legs were. Um, he's going to have to add some some weight on his lower body, I think, to uh, to be able to compete at the NHL level. But you know, Ken Hughes, I'm, he said he wants to sign him. I imagine he will after the NCAA season. Uh, if he does, uh, I'm sure part of the deal will be burning up the first year of that entry-level contract, which would mean playing a few games with the Canadians in the NHL. It will be interesting, Andrew, to see who they do pair him with. Um, maybe next year he plays in Laval, gets a year of experience there. But there's reason for the Canadians fans to be excited about this kid. A lot of offense, a lot of skills. Um, I don't know, Rick, do you remind you of anybody, young players, that you remember coming up with the Canadians when you were there? Uh, no, not really. Uh, no, nobody that really comes They didn't really have that many small defensemen back then, right? Yeah, yeah we had no peanuts. There were no peanuts in the crowd then. No, yeah, <laughs> no, no peanuts. It's, it's, a, it, it's a different game. I mean, let's face it, some, some of the younger guys can thrive because you can't touch them. Uh, you know, very, very... Uh, limited as far as a, any physical play goes on some of these guys. I mean, if you, if you look at the small forwards back in the, the day, they they weren't too happy to stand around in front of the net because uh, of the way the rules allowed. And, you know, for, for now, as, as defensemen, they have a little more uh, freedom as far as being able to wheel and deal. And, uh, you know, if you have the tools and the ability – you have a better chance in today's game to uh, to to thrive versus the older days. I think Peter Savota was about six foot two and one hundred and sixty pounds, right, Rick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he uh, yeah, he's skinny. He, he used to uh, he used to lie a lot, and uh, <laughs> you know. he's a tough. Hey, Greeny, uh, uh, give him credit. He's a tough bastard for a skinny kid, though. Well, <laughs> I, I know I, I told the guys about the number of times that he scraped his face off the glass because he, he didn't really <laughs> realize that somebody was going to hit him. But, you know, he did have a nice nose when he first started the in the <laughs> Well, hopefully Lane Hudson's nose stays in place. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to montrealgazette.com slash newsletters to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And, of course, you can get all your daily Canadians coverage at hockeyinsideout.com.